Hey, what's going on? My name is Officer Ronnie Esquivel, and thank you very much for tuning in to our vlog. Today, we're gonna show you one of the most unique jobs on the California Highway Patrol, working in one of the most beautiful places in California. We're at the Golden Gate Bridge, and we're gonna spend a day with the Marine Area Bicycle Patrol Unit, and I think they're coming right now. Hey, I'm Officer Ronnie Esquivel. Ross Ingalls, nice to meet you. Hey, Officer Ronnie Esquivel. Hey, Zach Ronnie Sorry to meet you both. Hey, so a lot of our viewers out there didn't know that the California Highway Patrol patrols the Golden Gate Bridge. So Sergeant Eagles, can you tell our viewers a little bit about why we started? Of course, so the bicycle patrol started in uh, 2001 after the terrorist attacks in New York City on September 11th. We sent five officers up to the academy for a 40 hour uh, intensive bicycle patrol training class and we've been patrolling the Golden Gate Bridge uh, ever since. What are the requirements to get on the bicycle patrol unit? Because I know I'm an officer, but I can't just hop on a bike and start patrolling the Golden Gate Bridge. So any officer assigned to the Marin Area office can be on our bicycle patrol unit. Um, officers that are interested and that are selected get sent up to the academy where they go through a 40 hour uh, intensive bicycle patrol training class. While riding a bike seems easy and most people can do it, right. riding a patrol bike is different because we're on the sidewalks, we're working in and out of pedestrians, almost always at really slow speeds. Remember, you don't need any specialized training or anything like that. We're going to put you through our training, but you have to be an officer first. And to be an officer, you got to go online to www.chpcareers.com and submit your online application. Okay, Ronnie, so here's your training bike for the day. Sweet. You can ride a bike. I, I can. See that you took your training wheels off, so I appreciate that. Yep, yep. And it's uh, got a helmet for you. And obviously, you've not gone through the 40 hour training course, so nope. we'll just be going on a ride along today so I can show you the beat. I know you said this is a training bike. I mean, mine looks a little different from yours. So, can you talk a little bit about what you have on your bike? Sure. So, this starts out as like a bike, pretty much just like yours. We had a few things. We've got lights here, we have a little siren. Uh, we have our pack at the back for all the stuff we need, just like you do in a car. Other than that, it's just a front suspension mountain bike. Uh, we got some disc brakes at the front, stand towards the back, and that's pretty much it, really. Do these lights illuminate red and blue? Uh, they do. <laughs> that's cool. Tell the viewers how long you've been on and how long you've been on the bicycle patrol unit here in Marin. So I broke in here in Marin about two and a half years ago. I actually got on bike patrol pretty soon after that, so I've been doing this for about two years now. It sounded really cool, so I just put in the application and was fortunate to pass the training. What's your favorite part about working? Just the diversity. I mean, it's cool to drive the cars, but to get paid to ride a bicycle on the Golden Gate Bridge, you really can't beat that. Can you explain a little bit more about your beat, your daily duties, what you guys do? Sure. So our beat is primarily the bridge. We also got parking lots either side that we patrol. Um, there's areas under the bridge, all around the bridge. Probably the biggest part of our job though is crisis intervention. And so we have a lot of people that come to the bridge who are maybe not in the right state of mind, who need some help. And that's a big part of our job, trying to get those people that help that they need and intervene before they do something they can't undo. Did you go through any additional training to handle that certain situation? Yeah, so as, as part of the Bicycle Patrol Unit, they sent me to a four-day class, which is predominantly for crisis intervention. Um, it, it deals with all aspects of that but obviously the suicide prevention is the bit that we focus on here at the bridge, and that's been a huge help to me um, doing this job on a day-to-day -day basis. So just like you would in a car, start of every day, we're just gonna sweep our beat, so we'll head across the bridge, make sure everything looks normal, make sure there's nobody that looks like they're in trouble or needs our help. Typically though, we're looking for people on their own who just look a little out of place. As I mentioned earlier, this is a good way to interact with people in a, a non-enforcement manner. We can actually work with the car units though. On the sidewalk we can uh, we can shoot speed. Speed limit on the bridge is 45. People kind of just treat it like a freeway though so there's a lot of people going a lot faster than 45 on the bridge. Okay Ronnie, so you did really great on the bridge there. I gave you an idea of what each day entails. Now I'm going to show you a little bit about the training we have to go through before we can do that, okay? Sounds so good. Sergeant Ingalls here is uh, one of the many obstacles we have to go through. So we'll explain that and see how you do, okay? All right. So this one looks pretty simple. It's a box measuring nine feet by nine feet. So we want to be able to turn the bike in a tight area without hitting any cones or any people or any anything up there, okay? Got it. So what we're going to do, we're going to ride in, complete two full circles, and then ride out. Huh. So yeah, nice, nice and slow and just aim for those deep corners. Give yourself as much space as you can.
There you go. All of it. Uh, ah. Almost. Oh boy. All right. Let's give it one more try. So that's about one and a half and you hit two cones. It's a little bit of work to do, but pretty good, pretty good. These guys are awesome. They make it look so simple, but it's much, much harder than it looks. All right, what's next? So next is what we call a track stand. Okay, so you come in between these two cones, hold it for one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, okay? And then right out. So as you saw on the sidewalk, you might get stuck behind a pedestrian or a cyclist. You might need to hold it there for a minute or two while while the coast is clear, okay? One 1,000, two. <laughs> one 1,000, two 1,000. <laughs> you almost I'll, had it. You I was gonna hang it. on, but I know where I was going. We started you off at, at the narrowest, oh, okay. but to practice, we'll start a bit wider and then bring it in as, as you get used to the skill, so. You show some good promise, though. I think if you went through the training, you'd have no problem at all. Well, I, 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 I appreciate that. <laughs> Obviously, I have a lot more practicing to do, but I want to thank these gentlemen for allowing us to hang out with you for today. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming down. It's been a great day. Thank you, sir. I know I learned a lot. I know our viewers learned a lot um, about the Marin Area Bicycle Patrol Unit. And again, if you're interested in a career with the California Highway Patrol, go to www.chbcareers.com. And remember, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and we'll see you at our next one. There you go. Ugh. Can we just show that one? <laughs> <laughs>